Hi, I am the, the I am a big seal, the developer of the Net Predictor package. The Net Predictor package brings you the power of finding missing links in a chembiological bipartite network. So, chembiological bipartite network mainly I am talking about drug target network. So, to start with, yeah, first you need to upload your data. So you can you can either select the start prediction button and it directly goes into the first page and it asks you to load your data you can select the custom data which uh, which needs a bipartite drug target interaction matrix drug similarity matrix and a target similarity matrix uh, the, the four different algorithms implemented are the heat s network based inference and the random walk with three start along with the net combo the net combo is uh, is a, is fuse uh, is a fuse results of network based inference and random walk with three start there are different parameters for each of this uh, methods uh, so for NBI uh, alpha and the lambda are provided and there's also a help which opens a model window uh, where you know just everything is discussed here the different algorithms and the links to the papers it, it's a very brief uh, discussion but you can go to the papers and just see what does all everything mean and for this example I will select one of the data sets say suppose ion channel and I click the heat as algorithm to compute uh, missing links uh, for this data set so it starts a calculation and it shows two interactions and the predicted interactions this is a data table JS uh, it you uh, this 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 tables is built on uh, the data, data table JS JavaScript library you can also search interactions here HSA so suppose one zero three one zero three six nine and only shows up with it filters the data table and it shows you with only uh, only uh, the interactions what you typed in here so if you want to remove it you can just remove it you can download the full data set as a csv file in your uh, in a local machine here and uh, network, it also shows up the network properties what you're working on uh, what what data set you're working on and shows the degree centrality the density of the network the betweenness the amount of drugs and proteins and our interactions these are the top drugs which shows up which has the maximum number of interactions it has like d00332 and this drug is having maximum number of interactions with the proteins this is like this drug showing the maximum 45 and next 34 these are like top 15 drugs which are having maximum number of interactions within the network similarly these are the proteins which are having maximum associations with the drugs like the 6328 HSA 6329 uh, these are already uh, is draggable these things and if you want to put it somewhere you know then you can do it here and there and something like that so it's uh, there's also a network plot of that of the predicted uh, re relations what you have it uh, this is based on the viz.js library and it shows up with uh, some of uh, shows up with the network and uh, the dash lines you can see is uh, is uh, the net uh, the, the predicted interactions and you can select by ID here suppose you want the interactions for this node and um, it, it shows up with this right and you can just scroll front and it will show up okay it's a bit slow because the network is still uh, kind of computing the the right you know uh, is computing for is uh, right positions of the nodes it is using the force directed network so it takes a bit of time if you are having some large bit data uh, for that uh, if you are not comfortable to view it on this panel you can download the HTML file and then you know just watch just view it on uh, your desktop using different kinds of site different kinds of or soft standalone softwares but anyway this actually helps you out to figure out what are the drugs and what are the other interactions which are happening right uh, let me go to the advanced analysis tab it has this two tabs the statistical analysis and permutation testing so once you load your data you already loaded your data now want to you want to do advanced analysis like you want to remove the links from the true links from the network uh, on the original network and try to re-predict those links you know just can it be predicted or not on 
how much how well can it be predicted right uh, like this will give you the AUC uh, the AUC score the the bedrock metric uh, and uh, and also the AUC top 10 percent something like that so I want to remove uh, 20 25 links from the current network and from the, the frequency of association is two or more so drugs having two or more frequency of associations those link those 25 links will be removed so I click network based inference and I stick to these parameters 0.5 and 0.5 these are the default ones but you can change uh, it's calculating and then it shows you the AUC top uh, this top is like the top 10 percent the enrichment score the number of links removed and the method you applied and you can change to random walk with restart and submit it and then uh, you can see the RWR performance is, is not that good as NBI but uh, yeah but again you can change it to like 30 and and set it up as one and it, it dynamically it adds, add, adds up the entries here you can add you can put one and it adds up and shows up here right so this is how this uh, this uh, advanced analysis work so randomly you can remove 30 links and then try to re-predict that whether that those can be predicted or not uh, there's also this permutation testing the permutation testing tab is pretty useful suppose you are you have you, you generate a network based on the heat s and you get some true links now you want to you want uh, you get some predictive interactions now you want to see whether those predictive interactions are significant or not so for that significant testing what you can do is now uh, you can you can run uh, or you can generate 10 random permutations of those matrices of those com computer computational matrices which is being computed by your algorithm right uh, right now it only supports net nbi and rwr but uh, based upon the request it can be changed so uh, it just uh, so first you want to do 10 permutations and as, as you increase the number of permutations the results you know just varies so it uses this now it generates the matrix it normalizes it uses a standard normal distribution to to you know to do the significant testing so and you want to keep only those rings uh, which are you know have, are significant like 0 0.05 so uh, only keep those links which are which are significant right so I click that and I select the different parameters and I click submit and and that's how the results shows up and it also shows uh, the predictive interactions you can also filter the data set so suppose I want only for 0136 so only those results show these are like two interactions which are highly significant and these are like the other ones which have been recently predicted uh, and their significance value so this this method takes some time I would say I would recommend if you increase the number of uh, the significance and more the results will get results will vary right you can also download it as a csv file in your desktop machine uh, the about uh, page it's like uh, it, it, the source is available at git and also if you want some bug reports or feature requests you can you can email or shoot a question up there uh, it also it is based on shiny markdown uh, the revolution are open package the net predictor package uh, which I have written the iGraph package there are some amazing cool shiny packages like shiny sky the shiny BS for buttons and themes uh, the wiz network for the network and the data tables for for viewing the tables so thanks that's it I hope you enjoyed this video thank you